Hi guys, today I'm going to use an analog camera to take color pictures but using black and white film with this Ilford FP4. So it is not possible to output a color picture with only one frame of black and white film because black and white films is gonna be black and white and that's it, you cannot obtain color from it. So unless you color it by hand on Photoshop or you know in a physical picture, you are just having the grayscale information of the image. So how are we going to make a color picture out of black and white film? Well, we have to take three pictures and in each picture we're gonna use filters. We're gonna filter light to take those pictures and then we're gonna combine those three pictures to make a color picture. You're gonna have uh, some slight variations on the tones and then when you combine them, uh, we're gonna use Photoshop for that and I'm gonna show you how to do that. You're, you will obtain the color back on the scene. You're, you will see now how we're gonna make it. We're gonna use a very old camera. Uh, well, it still works very well. And we're gonna use the film that I showed you. Um, but it's black and white, so there's no way else to go. But you can do it also with a digital camera using the black and white preset or any black and white uh, camera that you have but film is much more fun to make. So we're gonna use this and we're gonna see what we have, what we can make with this. So we're gonna get ready for our, our first picture. Now the disadvantage of these kind of pictures is that if we're taking pictures of moving subjects, then the picture is not gonna be uh, as sharp and uh, as accurate as it should be with a normal camera. But you can also create interesting effects when things are moving around and you take these pictures. So let's get ready for this and we have to remember what filters we're using on each picture. We have to set a sequence. So I'm going to use the standard one, like the name RGV, red, green and blue. So red, green and blue. So I'm going to take a picture with the red one, green and blue. The reason why we set this sequence of color filters in each picture is because when we have our final black and white film developed, all the pictures will look almost the same. They're just gonna have slight variations and we won't be able to recognize which frame represents what color. Okay, that was the last shot, so now we have to rewind the film and go home to develop the film. We just finished shooting some pictures in black and white film here in the park with these colors and flowers. And now we're going back to the, to the toilet, <laughs> to the bathroom where I'm going to develop the black and white film. Then I'm gonna scan the film and import it in Photoshop and see how we can make the final composition image in color from black and white film to color. So I'm in Photoshop right now, um, I have scanned my pictures and all it's ready to go. So in my case I photographed the pictures with DSLR, so I will end up having these raw pictures, raw files, so I will tweak them. And, and you know process the color and everything so I invert the color here in the curve I make the saturation zero or minus 100 just to make sure it doesn't have any color then I have to you know contrast uh, exposure etc so just in case if you are using a DSLR camera just like me I'm showing you how to deal with this so you can you know make this process easier for you but if you are using a scanner it will be easier for you because it will just uh, drop a JPEG file and you don't have to do all of this so after tweaking your image just select the rest the other three the other two images sorry and synchronize them 
so all of them are going to be the same uh, values of the first one that you just modified uh, this one looks darker but maybe it's because of the filter so it, it is better not to modify it right now so we open the images right here and we can see how these images are a little bit different in the tones for example in the jacket you see one of the pictures is lighter and the other ones is darker that's because the color information is being affected by the filters so that's why it, these tones are different in each picture and that's what we want so the next step is going to um, scripts right here and then uh, load files into stack now the reason for these is because we need the pictures to be aligned and these will make life easier so I will add the open files because I just have th the three pictures that I'm working on the three pictures that I need to to conform the the color picture and it will load the pictures in the order that I just opened them so that's important because I know that this one is the, my red channel this one is the green and this one is blue for you it might be a little bit different that but that's the way I scan them so I know that that's my co my colors if you do it wrong you will see that the color will look totally different so you make sure that you are having the right uh, color range so attempt to automatically align source images that's why we're using the script because it's, it will make life easier and you will see what I mean by that so it will conform all the pictures in in one file so here you can see that the pictures are aligned so of course we have to work with it later because it's not perfectly aligned but you will see why so now that we have this the next step is going to uh, select all and we're going to select our red channel for me my red channel is this one so uh, then we copy ctrl c or you can go to edit copy and then we're going to create a new file uh, make sure it says in preset clipboard because that means that we're going to create a file the same size of the picture that i just copied to my clipboard so then go to channels as you can see here next to layers channels then select the red channel and paste ctrl v or you can go to edit and then paste now we have uh, our image for the red channel we have to go back to my main picture go to layers again select my green channel copy it because it's already selected then go to green channel in my sorry my green channel in my new composition paste there now we see here in the RGB that we're uh, we're having color already but it's not yet ready because we need another color and that one is the blue channel select it select it copy it and then go back to my main composition and paste the blue channel so now we should have a color picture our color picture is not totally uh, ready yet because the colors or the pictures are not uh, carefully aligned so we have to move uh, the, the layers uh, so to do that we select our move tool then we have to select each channel but make sure to see the colors and then we zoom in and take a reference like uh, my girlfriend here and then we move the red channel the red channels very it's way up so we start moving it I prefer the arrows keys to to move the channels because it's a little bit more subtle and then the blue channel and as you can see it's totally online I'm taking this one as a reference as well because it's, it has sharp edges and then we see that it's totally, totally aligned uh, of course these people is not aligned because they, they were walking while I was taking pictures so that's why the, it creates this effect that I was talking about earlier so now we have our picture ready 
with color but it's not totally like colorful as we expected because our color filters are not perfect color filters so we have to tweak this image a little bit uh, Control M or going to image adjustments curves we're going to modify the blue channel with, with, because that one is the one that we have in the selection and we can start modifying this all right so we have this one let's go to red because I think I have problems with the red channel because of the filter and then we go to adjustments curve again and give it more red so you can see it's having a lot more color information in there and then uh, you know it's uh, it's about tweaking these colors it's not green is not too much of a issue here so we have ready this and now we can go to the main composition and apply you know some adjustments to make this picture stand out you know so yeah that's it so I will do the same with the other pictures but I will do it very quickly uh, just to show you how the pictures that I took in the park look like right now after the treatment so the next picture that I'm going to process is actually the first picture that I took in the park and this one is very nice because it's a lot of flowers and we have a lot of color information in this one so as you see I'm doing the same process and then we have to align again the pictures so here we have our picture now we have to again move the channels and this is the red channel zoom in and then we can start tweaking the image moving around just to make sure everything fits in the right position so now it looks like a color picture and that's really good that looks really nice but we have to do some adjustments here let's go to curves maybe this is how it should look like now these pictures look like the old 1950s 1960s pictures and I think that's because the technology of color film at the time was similar to like this process you know but uh, this looks really awesome you know um, the only problem is that you cannot take pictures of mov moving subjects because it will create this crazy effect of of uh, ghost in colors like the one that you saw in the last picture that I I show you here these people but it's a cool effect so that's the, that depends on how you see it and um, because that day was windy you can see here some of these uh, grass you know offset so that creates that effect of you know 3d or something that, like a ghost but it's cool so uh, I'm going to do the last one uh, these pictures here in the next picture I took a set of pictures of my girlfriend sitting in the grass but I had a problem because she closed her eyes in one of the pictures so I had to clone her eyes from for another picture to you know to make make the pictures match on the final composition but in overall the colors are amazing and look at the flowers how they look like and I actually didn't expect at this much quality in the colors but this looks amazing and that's it guys that's how you take color pictures with black and white film so if you like this video please share and subscribe